Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. Ah. Hi guys, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I post fragrance related content on this platform and would very much appreciate it if you did consider subscribing and becoming part of the family. Now to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. Today's video is going to be on some of the fragrances within my collection that I feel draw inspiration from the Byredo fragrances. But a quick announcement guys, with regards to PayPal, um, I have to date, which is from the December uh, the 1st, I'd say to the end of January, received donations from you guys to the tune of 388 US dollars on my PayPal account. I am saying this for transparency reasons. Now, what I've gone ahead to do is purchase some fragrances to the amount of about $335, somewhere thereabout, which I'm going to haul on this channel as well as my second channel. And those are fragrances, guys, that you would have purchased for me. And as I do that, I'm going to show the names of the people that donated to my PayPal account. Initially, I was dropping each and every person's name in the community tab and some of you were not comfortable with that. So what I'm going to do in this instant is show you the PayPal page, but I'm going to remove maybe the first or the last name of the person, show you the amount they sent, and then show you the total. I created that link, guys, because this channel relies only on you watching adverts. It's not a sponsored channel. I do not have a thank you button. Uh, I do not have affiliate links or paid partnerships because of geographic location i do have companies reach out to me from time to time but it's very hard you know for them to you know create a link where i can benefit off some of the uh, fragrances that i talk about here so all the fragrances i talk about i've been buying off pot. lastly i have a second channel c chronicles unscripted kindly check out that one as well uh, where i post vlogs and uh, fragrances that are not from the Middle East. The link of both the PayPal as well as my second channel are in the description where you see my picture on my YouTube page. Just underneath that, you're going to see the PayPal link as well as that second channel. So you can go there and subscribe if you feel you love that content. Welcome too. to today's video, guys. Uh, I have a couple of Byredo clones within my collection. The first one is going to be from Amir, which is a subsidiary of Paris Corner. And this particular Emir is called Vibrant Spicy Tobacco and this draws inspiration from Tobacco Mandarin by Barredo. I do not have Tobacco Mandarin to compare and I'm not going to lie and say I have sniffed that, that one. I can speak for this fragrance by saying it is a sweet, leathery, warm, spicy scent. Uh, the leather in here is safe enough for both genders so this screams unisex to my nose. It is embery as well. It does have like a very light, almost instancy tone, but not pushing it too smoky and it's quite long lasting. So it's the first one, guys, from the House of Paris Corner, a mere vibrant, spicy tobacco. Paris Corner has gone ahead uh, to give us a couple of uh, tones of the Barreiro. So it's not going to be just this one. They've got one called Vibrant Vertiver. It comes in green and it is going to be part of the haul that I'm going to show you next week that you guys actually purchased, you know, for me. Uh, so we've got that Vibrant Vertigo coming next week. I bought it, guys, because it is a clone of Baldo Freak. So I want to see whether they nailed that one. So I'm going to bring that one, right? Uh, it comes in this bottle, but a green bottle, right? So uh, enough said for that. The second clone I have within my collection is from the house of Milestone. Now, this house is not very very new but i'm not sure about the internet presence but every time i type milestone i seem to see a couple of sellers that have these you know fragrances so it's going to be up to your discretion whether you trust certain sellers enough to purchase some of these fragrances from them now milestone bibliotic is an obvious fragrance that is inspired by bibliotic they didn't try to you know play hide and seek there now what do i think of it Right, when it comes to this particular one, as well as the bibliotheque, because I have smelled bibliotheque before, so this is not going to be unique to this. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this. All I'm saying, both fragrances need testing. Bibliotheque by Byredo is one of the most complex fragrances on the market. Some of you, worst case scenario, are going to say you get like a band-aid. 
and betadine type of smell there. And some of you are going to say uh, the juice reminds you of a very old building with very old dusty books and stuff like that. It is just a complex artistic DNA. So you may want to, you know, test uh, the fragrance. And uh, the good thing about possibly getting yourself, uh, getting your hands on the stoop, it will be uh, the fact that at least it'll give you a representation of whether you need the real thing or not. Okay, so this is from the house Milestone and it's called Bibliotic. And while we are at the house of Milestone, because like I said, I'm going to give you honorable mentions. The honorable mention that I do not have here is one called saffron noir which is a clone of um black saffron okay so they have two clones from the house they could have a rose of no man's land as well she said you know i didn't pay much attention to that house so yeah guys and then back to paris corner again i do not know what happened with this because with the killer oud line from paris corner what i deduced was that this line was mostly cloning the ammo washes and you can see even the bottles but this particular one is not an ammo wash clone now killer oud knights of arabia guys is your byred or black saffron clone to the t uh, performs like that fragrance scarily identical lost till the next wash that sort of thing so this is also from paris corner but this time just Paris Corner because they do have Pandora and all that. Okay, so do make sure that uh, you check this one out. If you're looking for an accurate black saffron clone, I can speak for this one. And I have tested black saffron side by side and decided not to spend my coins on that one because this one was really doing the most, guys. Now, so the little fragrance that actually inspired me to bring this video, guys, is this one right water lily tea dress now if my hands look scary don't worry I'm, I'm i'm on a diy doing something right this water lily tea dress has been in my collection now i think for two years and it came off a, a discovery sample set so i just opened it the other day after i finished filming my uh, minis for my second channel and i just you know put, put some on my hand like that and i started smelling it and i was like wait a minute this smells a lot like gypsy water, you know, honestly. And I hadn't figured this out for the longest time. If anything, I thought this was in the same vein as, um, what you call it, uh, Elizabeth Arden's white tea or those tea fragrances or something. I do get a little semblance of what I get from this fragrance. Okay, so I'm going to pass this off, guys, this Water Lily Tea Dress uh, by Zara as a fragrance that's scarily similar uh, to uh, by Redos Gypsy Water. Let's just take uh, Gypsy Water out. This is a, a 12 ml mini, okay, of my Gypsy Water. And it was after that uh, mini collection thing that I was playing around with the fragrances and I realized, no, this is very, uh, this smells a lot like water lily tea dress okay so that is gypsy water now what to expect from the dna in case you haven't smelled the water lily one you haven't smelled the real thing uh is a fragrance that just wraps you around a fresh bubble don't expect this fragrance to shout it's one of those very classy clean uh fragrances there you know from byredo it's done in such a way that it doesn't push boundaries uh it kind of feels to me uh not identical but it kind of vibes like baldur freak where don't buy baldur freak if you're expecting a fragrance that's gonna blow everybody off because that is not what you're gonna get so i'm just saying this guys in case you just rush for water lily tea dress and say oh because it smells a lot like gypsy water then this is gonna be it you might be disappointed you may need to smell this it's a fragrance that you wear when you want to enjoy your fragrance it's going to put you in a clean scent bubble the whole day some of you are also going to say they turn anosmic to this because of the fact that it is a profile that doesn't push it so some of you may very well turn anosmic to both fragrances where you kind of smell a whole lot of nothingness if at all that makes now sense. the next fragrance i want to clue you up on here is vibrant orange and neroli okay this is also off a mirror uh, by paris corner this is in the same vein as your sundays now this fragrance guys is built around very sugar accord it feels very sweet there it feels very marshmallowy very powdery sweet some of you are going to say icing sugar sweet and then topped up with like an orange zest in it so there's going to be an orange round up here 
but the zestiness in this fragrance does not feel like a real like a squeeze from the orange it kind of feels like it's synthesized as though it's coded by a you know a computer to smell uh, zesty so it's not like a piercing type of zesty feel but you're going to get an underlying orange with this so draws this inspiration guys from that uh sundays by byredo and uh, yeah you can check it out it's a fragrance that does not disappoint the only thing i can say about this one in terms of its profile is if you're a man you may want to you may want to sniff it because it has that quintessential sweet dna that is a very much liked by the ladies out there where it just comes across as very candy forward and it can be something that as a man you may want to test or if you like candy forward fragrances then it's going to absolutely do okay so this is also off uh paris corner and it's called a vibrant orange and neroli uh, before so we go into honorable mentions i want to say something uh quickly as well here i have rain the noe from byredo built around a rose and oud it's quite jammy, lightly smoky there. Now, I do not have a hundred clone of this fragrance, but why it's here is I thought to clue you up on how similar it feels, you know, to this particular one, to Portrait of a Lady. Now, I'm not here to suggest that you buy Portrait of a Lady as a clone for this because that would be ridiculous. I mean, Portrait of a Lady in itself is expensive. All I'm saying is, portrait of a lady has been cloned a gazillion times so if you are one of those people that have been eyeing rain nui and you're wondering how that fragrance smells you could get your hands on maison alhambra's the artist number two which is a fragrance that clones portrait of a lady uh and you can get that for about 20 bucks or somewhere thereabouts or you could get yourself uh, French portrait. I think it's from Fragrance World and it's slightly cheaper than the Maison Alhambra one. Get your nose on that. If you like that, then you more or less have pretty much smelled this to an extent because this is very similar. I don't know who cloned who. I, I don't know. But to my nose, they smell very similar. The only difference is with portrait of a lady, it takes it up a notch when it comes to that aromatic tone. So it is very spicy there, leaning a little green and quite instancy maybe more instancy than this but there is that unmistakable twinning that's going on between the two of the fragrances so i just thought guys to give you a heads up on that or to clue you up in case uh you were looking at rain didn't we and you're wondering okay what's the closest smell like now the other uh wild card clones on the market that i just want to drop here are from the house of zemaya zemaya is if i'm not mistaken a subsidiary of afnan if i'm mistaken then i take it back but as far as i know they, they they could be sister companies or something now if you go online and you just type zamaya you will find a lot of those fragrances come up they have a fragrance called roses a white and that roses a white is a fragrance that draws this inspiration from Rose of No Man's Land, which is, you know, by Redo fragrance. I have not smelled the Zimaya one, but I have smelled Rose of No Man's Land. And what I can say about that, it's a very nice fragrance if you like your very rosy type of fragrances. It wasn't for me, but I smelt it. And uh, yeah, I, I can absolutely say if you love the rose type of fragrances, you could, you know, get your hands on that Zimaya one. The bottle is going to be a telltale sign that, yeah, it might, might have something to do with the by riddles another zimaya that is uh drawing its inspiration from a by is one called black symphony if i'm not mistaken and that one is inspired by black saffron obviously uh, another fragrance that i want to throw there as a wild card recommendation but when it comes to this one i'm going to say maybe go and test or it's going to depend on preference because this one is from Atar Collection. When it comes to Atar Collection fragrances, I can speak for the quality. I think the quality is very good. And uh, because of the quality, again, I'm going to say the price sometimes is not really pricing. So you may want to test one called Al Rayan before you run and purchase it as a clone for Balder Freak. But a lot of people do say it does smell a lot like Balto Freak. So if you want to get your hands on that, Al Ryan, uh, as an alternative to Balder Freak, it's it's going to be entirely up to you. But why I said you may want to check the prices when it comes to that. Not that 
they you know they, they price the same but it could be an issue of maybe you purchasing a 30 ml of that balder freak and getting the real thing instead of going for the clone now the last two are gonna be maybe it's the last one i don't know because i'm not sure if i mentioned another one called sensual or saffron from these guys the same paris corner i don't know why they decided to put it in another bottle when they have or this one already okay they have another one called sensual saffron that comes in like a purple bottle that one is a black saffron uh clone last but not least is going to be from zara again a fragrance that they released late last year or early mid last year to late last year called monday no drama allowed that one seems to share a lot of similarities with rose of no man's land yes guys i do hope you found this video helpful especially if you like uh your by red or if you like to save a pretty penny thank you so much for watching and for joining me today thank you to everybody who has contributed towards a paypal uh, account the link is still there in case you want to drop anything at all towards the purchases of some of the fragrances on this channel i would appreciate that also do remember to check out my second channel c chronicles unscripted kindly leave a subscription there if you can i'd very much appreciate the support and also do turn on post notifications on both channels that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this one meanwhile and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers